Mr. Sachs, you're 11.30. Mm. Oliver Sachs, very nice to meet you. Danny Lewitsky, Daniela, actually, the, the most people call me Danny, mostly. Um, it's very nice to meet you as well. Please, have a seat. Do you have a resume? I do have one, yes. Hmm? Can I have it? Uh, you can, absolutely. It's just that I got a little coffee spill that I'm trying to draw. I kind of saw someone and I, I didn't expect to see them and I kind of... Is it legible? Um, yeah, pretty much. Just my, my name is sort of smudged. It's a good thing you already told me your name. Daniela. People call you Danny. Mostly. Listen, I'm not going to hold a little coffee spill against you. Thank you. Yeah. I know I don't have a lot of professional experience, Listen, but... Listen, a word of advice. In an interview, never point out your flaws. Right. Please strike that from the record, counselor. Uh, well, it looks like you've had plenty of professional experience. You worked as a hairdresser for eight years. But not in a law firm. <laughs> Very few law firms I know have in-house hairdressers. Hairdressing requires a good social skill. I'm sure you interface with all different types. Oh man, you have no idea. I could tell you some crazy stories. I'll bet. I, I won't right now. Night school, huh? Well, you're obviously a go-getter. Yes, yes I am. Let's go, Oliver. I've got three Russians in the conference room and vodka is not going to take the edge off their settlement. Matthew Biblu with me. Daniela Lewitsky. Daniela starts Monday. Well, that's of course, if you want to work here. No, I do. I definitely do. It's just, wow, this is fantastic. Daniela even studied a little law. Well, I studied a lot of law, actually. Otherwise, I never would have passed the bar. You passed the bar? Of wow. Of course I passed Wow, the bar. that is terrific. Uh... Are you in the habit of hiring lawyers who haven't passed the bar? Yeah, you're interviewing to be a lawyer, right? <laughs> yes, of course. I'm a lawyer. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I thought you were interviewing for the assistant position. Andre just called and told me that she won't be coming back yet. The maternity leave, so I... Oh, I'm uh... sorry. There must have been a miscommunication. Okay. Yeah, right. A, uh, a miscommunication. Okay, well, um, well, thank you for your time. Need a ride? Come on, you can't walk. Watch me. Danny. They're lying to my face. People lie. Really? And what's even worse? You know it. Listen, I only know what my clients tell me to know. You make me sick. You're taking this personally. First rule, take nothing personally. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Second rule, never say you don't want to sue. Once you've said that, you've lost your bargaining chip. Is that all? No. One last thing, don't refuse a lift when you've broken your heel. You know, that's good advice, actually. I think so. And it's stupid to say you won't sue, huh? Even if you don't want to, they've they got to think you want to. Keeps them scared. That makes sense. So listen to me very carefully. Tell your clients that thanks to their arrogant, smug, jerk face lawyer, they're being sued. Jerk face, huh? Don't take it personally. 